Hi viewers, today I'm going to be going through how to deal with blue screen of death error. Now many of you probably know what blue screen of death error is, but if you don't, in short, it's basically an error that occurs when there's something wrong with your computer. It could be incompatible software, incompatible hardware, overheating, uh, infected computer, uh, faulty hardware, out of date hardware software, uh, and many other reasons. <coughs> now um, I'm going to show you an example. The first time you get blue screen of error, blue screen of death error, uh, the first thing you want to ask is, have I changed anything? Have I installed a new software? Have I installed a new hardware? Or anything like that, if it's the first time happening. But if, if you can't think of anything like that, then you want to do what I'm going to show you in a minute. <coughs> So once you get the error, you get some information it tells you it was shut down. The main reason you get blue screen of error is to prevent further damage to your software or hardware, mainly hardware. And it, it gives you the actual error name or code. And here it tells you what basically I just said. Have I changed anything? Have I installed new software? Have I installed new hardware? And if I have, roll back and see if that fixes the problem and then it gives you some technical information here which is the stop code uh, this is basically uh, windows being forced to shut down and then here tells you where it happened in the memory now the most important thing here is right at the end which is the beginning of beginning dump of physical memory when an error occurs when a blue screen error occurs uh, there's um, a folder is made in uh, C drive windows uh, where it stores information about the error so here if you see this that means you can have a look at all the blue screen error information that has occurred before so what you want to do is go to to see it uh, go to start right uh, go to my computer and then go to C drive go to windows and then find a mini dump folder which is right here. Open it. Now when I try to open uh, the files or the mini dump files uh, it won't allow me. So to open these files uh, I have to install a software called Blue Screen View. Now Blue Screen View is a free software. Uh, I will provide the link in the descri description below. Uh, to download it is very simple. Just go to the link I've provided then go down and then just use the external mirror one download it I'm using Google Chrome so it looks different but once you click on it just go to save and then open the file now once you've downloaded the file I've already downloaded mine uh, what you want to do is open it mine's right here if you can't see it it's a zip file um, once you open it open the exe file which is the executable file go to yes and then press yes now by default uh, it should open the files in your mini dump folder but if it does not it should do but if it doesn't just go to advanced option right in the top left corner and then you can direct it to the mini dump folder uh, manually just go to browse and then go to local C drive which is here and then go to windows and then find the mini dump folder yeah here it is and then press OK and then OK now here you'll get a lot more information about the error that occurred click on uh, it'll tell you the name the date uh, the time the name uh, where it happened in the memory again and most importantly the driver that caused it here it is uh, it gives you some file description the product name uh, the company who makes the product 
and here again it gives you more information it, it highlights the actual drivers that caused it now in this case one of them is I have two um, one of them is uh, related to Windows if you look at the product name and you can see my uh, operating system and the second one is a graphics driver now just because it says uh, the, the graphics driver reported the problem it does not mean it's the actual graf uh, graphics driver that's causing the problem it could be uh, the actual hardware that the driver has been used by so you have to uh, look and find out whether it's the driver or the hardware that's causing the problem uh, if you don't know what the driver is you can simply look it up in Google and then go on from there now that we know the driver that's causing the problem we want to find out whether it's the hardware or the software so the next thing that we want to do is uh, the best way I know to find whether it's the software or the hardware is to go into safe mode and for example le let's take uh, the graphic driver go into safe mode and s it try and reproduce the problem if the problem occurs in safe mode then it's most likely the hardware that's causing the problem but if it does not that means is something wrong with the driver if you don't know how to get into safe mode it's very simple all you do is shut down your computer first and then just tap F8 key on your keyboard keep tapping F8 key on your keyboard till you get something like this uh, and from here just use uh, your keyboard arrows to select safe mode and then you'll boot into safe mode in safe mode only the basic files and drivers are loaded to run windows now once you're in safe mode you want to try and recreate the problem to get the blue screen error again now if you don't get the blue screen error again in safe mode that means it's got something to do with the software or the drivers but if you do get the blue screen error again in safe mode that means it's got to do something with your hardware so uh, yeah uh, here I'm going to show you an example uh, that I showed you before which was the uh, the graphics uh, card uh, here you can see the dump file uh, the uh, the driver that caused it uh, and which is the graphics card driver uh, if, it, if I tried to recreate the problem in safe mode it didn't work which means it's got something to do with the software so what you want to do is first of all update the driver and see if that works if that doesn't work then you wanna clean uninstall the driver and then install the driver again make sure you have the driver if you're gonna uninstall the driver of the graphics card now to do this in Windows 7 is uh, quite simple uh, go to start and then right click on my computer and then go to manage once you here go to device manager and then find your display adapter and then right click on your graphics driver and then go to properties here you can see your manufacturer Nvidia if you go to the drivers tab it will tell you your current uh, driver version so you can update it uh, manually or search for it automatically if you search for it automatically it's very unlikely you're gonna find an update for it but I would suggest doing it manually if that doesn't work you can uninstall the whole driver and install again and see if that makes difference uh, one of those two should work if it doesn't work uh, it's probably something else but I hope I helped feel free to submit any questions you got in the comment section below peace